Alexandria was the capital of Egypt from its founding by Alexander the Great in 332 BCE until 642 CE. Alexandria was the intellectual and cultural center of the ancient Mediterranean for much of the Hellenistic Age. Alexandria is a Mediterranean port city in Egypt. During the Hellenistic period, it was home to a lighthouse ranking among the seven wonders of the ancient world as well as a storied library. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, sometimes called the Pharos of Alexandria, was a lighthouse built by the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Ancient Egypt during the reign of Ptolemy II Philadelphus, 280 to 247 BC. It has been estimated to have been at least 100 meters, 330 feet, in overall height. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world, for many centuries it was one of the tallest man-made structures in the world. The ancient eastern royal harbour of Alexandria was one of the most important ports in the ancient world. Built by Alexander the Great in 331 BC, the harbour was a hub of trade and commerce, connecting the eastern and western worlds. The eastern harbour was the royal port of Alexandria and once had palaces, temples and the legendary Pharos lighthouse one of the seven wonders of the world. The legacy of the ancient library of Alexandria lives on today. Its influence can be seen in the modern library system, where books are organized by subject matter and open to the public for research and study. The library also served as a model for other centers of learning throughout history including the House of Wisdom in Baghdad and the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Today, the library is reincarnated in the disc-shaped, ultra-modern Bibliotheca Alexandrina. Library of Alexandria's Collections, Books and Scrolls the archives contained works by many of the famous Greek writers of classical antiquity, including the philosophers Plato, Aristotle and Pythagoras and the dramatic poets Aeschylus, Sophocles and Euripides. Sadly, the library was not meant to last. It fell victim to several fires and invasions throughout its history. The worst of these was in 48 BC when Julius Caesar's troops set fire to the city of Alexandria. Caesar was pursuing Pompey into Egypt when he was suddenly cut off by an Egyptian fleet at Alexandria. Caesar was outnumbered and in enemy territory, which led him to order that the ships in the harbor be set on fire which spread and destroyed the Egyptian fleet. Unfortunately, it also burned down part of the city the area where the great library stood. The library was completely destroyed, and it is estimated that around 40,000 books were lost. Cleopatra was queen of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt from 51 to 30 BC, and its last active ruler. A member of the Ptolemaic dynasty, she was a descendant of its founder Ptolemy I Soter, a Macedonian Greek general and companion of Alexander the Great. This royal quarter area in the eastern harbour has yielded some of Alexandria's most interesting underwater antiquities. Today divers can see a couple of large, enigmatic sphinxes as well as red granite columns, platforms and pavements that archaeologists speculate formed part of a former palace belonging to Cleopatra VII. Antihodus or Anti-Rhodes was an island in the eastern harbour of Alexandria, Egypt, on which a Ptolemaic Egyptian palace was sited. 
The island was occupied until the reigns of Septimius Severus and Caracalla and it probably sank in the 4th century, when it succumbed to earthquakes and a tsunami following an earthquake in the eastern Mediterranean near Crete in the year 365. The site now lies underwater, near the seafront of modern Alexandria, at a depth of approximately 5 meters. Fuad Street, the oldest planned, still inhabited street in the world. 23 centuries after it was first drawn in sand, the world's oldest planned, still inhabited street continues to mark the ongoing transformations of an ever-evolving city.